Hello again everybody, I'm Jesse Ladner and on this video today I'm going to show you how to rip and burn CDs for those who are, you know, like beginners or first time, for those who are a first time ripping and burning the CDs, you know what I mean. So let's get started. Alright, so my mom had requested me to burn some CDs here. For those who don't know, she works at a daycare and she wants me to do she wanted me to do four copies of each now I've already done with the I'm already done with this one so this one I still have to do don't know where she got these CDs from but again she works at a daycare so this one's done and we can set them out the way um, now, now what you want to do is open this and put it in your computer I will be using my my Dell Optiplex 780 series computer. Now I tried to burn some CDs on my mom's laptop. However, being that it's Windows 10 and all, but this one's Windows 7. Windows 10, I just don't like it in my opinion. It's just Windows 10 is a pain in the behind. But it works just fine on Windows 7. So let me um tear the plastic off of this and I'll insert the disc and we'll get started. Okay, I just peeled the plastic thing off the um, CD cut case got the disc in my hand and I put it in here and don't mind the reason why and for those who don't know the reason why the side panel is off it's because of this the graphics card doesn't exactly fit but anywho I'm sorry for breaking the topic there now in case you just in case if you wonder why the side panel is off it's because of the graphics card but yeah, we get we'll get get ready to rip the CD to my computer, and I'll show you how it works. All right, peeps, we are on my computer now, and as always, this video is being sponsored by Bandicam, free software. For more information, visit www.bandicam.com. But now, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna minimize that. And I'm gonna, I haven't closed my uh, CD drive yet, so I'm going to do that. And once I close it, it's going to open up Windows Media Player. So, okay, I just closed it. When it once it comes up, I'm going to immediately stop it because you never know it could get. I could you never know it could be copyright claims. So I just immediately stopped it. And now what you want to do is click this little icon right here where it says Switch to Library. And I'll just bring that back up. And now what you, I mean, you can go to here. This is optional, what I'm going to do. You go to RIP settings. Now normally, this is how it would be defaulted. When you go to format, it would be defaulted. The default setting would be here, Windows Media Audio. However, you can change that anytime you want. And that's the default setting for audio quality. Now normally, what I'm going to do is leave it as MP3. And the audio quality, um... I normally just leave it as that's default setting. That's normally what I leave it as. You can change that. It is not. It is optional. However, if you want to leave, if you want to have a lot of, um, if, if you have like a lot of songs, and if you want to, or maybe wait, maybe that doesn't count. But and I don't know. Anywho, you just leave it. As, I'll just leave it as 128 kilobytes per second. That's like the smallest size. Like I can't expl explain it right. Anywho. It does give you an option to rip CD, CD automatically, and then eject CD after ripping. It is optional. It I think that wasn't. I think that it was unchecked as default, but I, I don't exactly remember. But but yeah, I just leave that eject CD after ripping. That was unchecked as default. And as you see down here, it's gonna keep on saying update complete because I got a lot of songs on here as well. And now, now that it's all said and done, once you get your settings right, you just either hit click that or just hit rip CD right next to it. So you hit rip CD, just like that. And it will take a few minutes to rip, but I'll see as you see, it's already ripping right now. Don't mind all this. Again, this is this is, this CDs ain't for me. This is for my mom's daycare and whatnot. <laughs> So, it's got like 30 tracks of it. 
I think, or how many tracks? I forgot. Or 28, I'm sorry, 28 tracks. The other CD had 30 tracks. So, I will come back once this has done ripping, and I'll come back when it's done. Alright, peeps, so the CD has just about finished ripping. It's got like, it's on the final track right now, and... I don't, I don't know if the mic just picked that up, but you just heard a click, and that means that it's just my the CD has automatically ejected. So now that that's done, you don't have to. Now I'll show you what else to do. Now that it's done ripping. All right. So now that we got this ripped to my computer, we can set this out the way for now, and I'll show you again what this what blank disc I'm using. Memorex Music CDR 40x 700 megabytes 80 minutes. I'll show you that again. So, being that I'm doing four copies of these blank discs on the, like I said again, I'll be doing like I said earlier. I will how these are like the same um, sound sound songs and stuff on like the first album, and now I'm gonna do be doing the set the different four copies of this as well so yeah I'll show you now I'm going to show you how to burn the disc early now that you rip the rip the CD to the to your music library now it's time to burn the disc so let's do that all right we are back again on my computer as you see now what you want to do is go to your file explorer Go to music. Now I I do have different um different um albums. Now I gotta see which one it's under. Oh it's the same artist, okay. It's the same artist, what what I understand. Now it's you wanna go again, this is the album that I did earlier before I didn't even I didn't even record that, but this is the one that I just ripped, as you see. So now what you want to do is go there and then highlight all that. Right click and hit add to Windows Media Player List. Oops. Ah, stop My it before I get copyright claimed. Anywho, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to stop it as quick as possible. I don't want to get copyright claimed if I do. But again, now you want to do is go to switch to library and click on the burn tab which is right here and click where it says import import say unsave list and oh I gotta close my CD drive hold on I already got the blank disc inserted I have to still gotta I haven't closed the CD drive yet now it does give you an option the name to disc however I just leave that alone it is optional you can name your disc I don't know what good that does, but it is optional. Now I just gotta. There we go. Now I just had to wait for the. As you see, CDR and it's blank. So what you want to do is there's not much burn options you can do. I'll just show you the more burn options. Usually I just leave all leave all that alone. So yeah, I just leave that alone, and then what you want to do is click start burn now it's got to prepare all the files to make sure you know there isn't like copyright issues or anything because I had that problem before I tried to burn a CD and some of the some of the sound songs had errors to them probably because of copyright issues or some sort there is other ways how you can burn CDs as well you can if you have music already saved on your computer you can get you can grab those files and burn them to a, C, a blank CD as well but the way I'm showing you is how that you're ripping a CD which rips it to your library and then you burn it to a blank disc that's the way I'm showing you but there is other ways how you could rip disc or I'm sorry burn disc as well 
and as you see it says there writing the disc and here's another tip do not eject the disc in the middle of sorry in the middle of this the voice kind of keeps on cutting out but yeah don't e don't ever eject your disc uh, it does give you an uh, option to cancel burn but obviously I'm not gonna do that so yeah, I'm going to wait for all this to burn to the disc as it writes to the disc. And I'll come back once it's done. Oh, however, the um however the default setting for eject disc after burn, that's always on, but I don't know why in my opinion, I don't know why they didn't they didn't on the rip settings. I don't know why they had eject CD after done ripping. Well, you know what I mean, on cuz that was defaulted off, but on burn the setting is defaulted on when the burn completes it ejects the disk. But anywho, I'm so I'm apologize if I'm getting y'all confused. And I'm gonna stop this recording and I'll come back once it's done. Alright, and as you see, most of the track the, this album is just about done being burned to the disk. It's all been complete most of them's been completed so far and on the final track right now and it's just it's saying finalizing disc and it so you probably heard a click and again that was just my disc done burning probably shouldn't close to this now I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a sharpie here and write on this this so I'll know what it is and I'll be right back well I apologize that my handwriting isn't the best but there you have it that's one of the four copies of it now I'm gonna show you if you have to make more copies I'm gonna show you how to do that as well so yeah all right now I'm gonna go and insert another blank disc. I'm not going to close that just yet. I'll do that in a minute. Alright, so if you have to make more, if you have to burn more CDs of the same album, what you want to do is exit Windows Media Player and what you want to do is redo re the same thing as earlier. If you left um, File Explorer open, you want to do the same thing like I did earlier. Select all the songs right click add the Windows Media Player list oh my god so yeah I, s I stopped it go to um switch the library I'm gonna close the CD drive and just wait for the blank disk to load and then we'll get we'll, ha we'll get to burning it again oh and also hit import say unsave list unsave list and it should be just a moment There we go, and do the same thing as as before. Hit start burn. So again, it's going to prepare all the files. But yeah, if you have to burn like more CDs, normally I just leave the file explorer open to this right here. If you have to burn like the same album again. But when you're when you're every time you burn more cities, you have to exit Windows Media Player. I mean, there could be an other way how to burn it again without having to exit Windows Media Player, but I don't think so. But anywho, that's just the way I do it. Just exit out after I'm done burning, and just open it back up, open the same songs back up, and just burn it again. But this time, I mean, I'm probably not going to do all four copies on this video, so but you you'll get what I mean. You get you get what I mean. I'll just do the la I'll just do two of the copies. I'll do the the fi the final two copies off the video. But again, this video is um just for like first timers, for those who don't know how to burn disc or, or I'm sorry, rip and burn disc, just for first-timers. And I hope this video does help you out. 
as usual just make sure you hit that like button hit subscribe if you're new to the channel I appreciate all your support I think we're at at least 150 subscribers right now let me see real quick let me actually go to my YouTube app for my phone real quick we're at 152 subscribers on my YouTube channel so I appreciate all the support I just hope we re re reach 200 subscribers soon um, and while I'm at it I guess I'll go ahead and provide a little update of what's been going on since I haven't been making videos uh, frequently not much has been going on really I mean I've been keeping it low-key and whatnot not much been going on really I mean that's pretty much what it is again I got I I got rid of my friend slash my buddy Josh well they turned their back on me but we're not gonna get into that story again it's on the uh, video somewhere if you haven't seen that video yet it's all it's I titled it going through a hard life or whatever but I, yeah I mean I'm not I know I'm not the only one if y'all were have and and listen to this carefully y'all y'all are not the only ones who are going through a rough life if you say you're going through a rough life y'all not a rough life jeez I can't even speak right now if y'all going through a rough life y'all not the only ones alone yeah there's more there's more peeps out there that are struggling with their life cuz like they say life ain't easy so yeah um, this um, CD this album is just about done writing as you watch and listen to me at the same time yeah my life's been a struggle for those who don't know it's been more stressful for me and whatnot and I'm just speechless about how my life's been really it's been frustrating and whatnot but oh well like I said y'all I'm not the only one who has the a, a, who's having a rough life most some peeps or I'm not saying all peeps but most some or most peeps are having a hard time with their life too but it ain't always easy just whatever you do don't take it out on yourself if you're having a rough life don't hurt yourself and don't take it out on yourself well that's the same thing pretty much what I just said so yeah this um, album's just about done it's got like two more tracks left And it's on the final track right now. And let me get down here because I know it's finna eject. Oops, I just knocked one of the CD albums down. And you heard a click. I don't know if the mic picked it up, but I heard a click once again. CD dry, the CD has ejected. And I'll just leave that open because I'm going to be having to do the other two copies. All right, so you, that I mean that's pretty that's that's basically how you do it. There you have it. That's how you like burn rip and burn CDs. Again, there is other ways how you can rip CDs as well. If you already have some songs saved on your on your library and whatnot, you can burn the or I'm yeah you can burn those too. But some of them it may it may cause errors depending on the copyrights and all. If it's if it's really copyrighted protected, then it may not let you burn them. But how I used to get my MP3 music was from a website a few years back, but that website was discontinued. So I really haven't been getting much MP3 music anymore like I used to. So yeah. Um, alright, so I'm going to end this clip on my computer and, yeah, I'll just stay tuned. And once again, there's the second copy right there, all ready to go. Again, these CDs aren't for me. These are supposed to go to my uh, mom's work or her daycare. She had requested me to burn these CDs, so 
The other two I'm not going to do on video, but that's pretty much how you get it done and whatnot. Just get it done. Just like rip it, burn it, and then you can label it like with a Sharpie or whatever. Just like a permanent marker. You know what I mean. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's and that, and that was how you that's how you rip and burn CDs for those who are first timers. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you have any other questions or 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 comments, just leave a comment below. But um yeah. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Take care. See you on the next video.